Hi everybody, I'm Carl and welcome to NAC 3D Designs. In today's episode, we're going to go ahead and complete the wiring harness and connect it to the hot end carriage. So let's get started. Alright, so now we've got all the wires fed through. We've got this all assembled now. Easiest way to do this wiring, honestly, is going to be to take this back down and we'll assemble it and do the wires at, together as we assemble it. Then we'll take it back apart, put it back on, and we'll be done. So, first thing we need to do is take the hot end mount back off. Set this up. Now the yellow and orange wires are our first two. And according to this, they go to our stop switch, which is this one right here. I'm gonna keep this up nice and neat out of the way. So before I forget this time, I'm going to cut my two pieces of heat shrink, put them on before I do anything else. Okay, now, polarity doesn't matter, so we can just go ahead and hook these up. All right, so we've made our first connection here. All right, you see we've hooked up our connector for our stop switch. We'll tuck nice and tight just like that. Now what should we do next? We'll go ahead and put our Hot end mount back on. I know I'm out of camera view, sorry about that, but it keeps the screws from falling. Okay, so I've put our hot end back on, or our hot end mount, I should say. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and I like to do it just a couple of times, make it easier. So we're going to go ahead and put the mount back, the clamp back in place. All right, so we get the fans mounted on. Now we can go ahead and figure out where we're going to put this. And the layer cooling fan is the gray and purple wire right here. So the thought was this would come up through here just like this.
Don't really need much slack on this one either. The polarity does matter on because it's a fan. The gray is the negative and the purple is the positive. So the gray will get black and the purple will get red. on there nice and neat like that go ahead and put the hot end on now I'm not gonna lock that in place yet got our cooling fans wiring all set up put together like that we have to wire our thermistor our hot end and our mosquito fan so I'm going to pull my Harness from my Slice Engineering Thermistor bag. This will plug onto here. Figure out its routing path here. We're going to route it up. inside like this that and now that's going to hook up to let's see the hot end thermistor is the red and brown wires these wires right here Clarity on these doesn't matter. So whenever I can, I try to match a light color. So I'm gonna hook the red to the red, and maybe, and the brown to the white.
All right, so now we've got our thermistor wired. This will feed right down through. Like this. Okay, the thermistor. Next we'll do our layer cooling fan. Which or not our a mosquito cooling fan, which is gonna be the black and white wires. Black is is negative and white is positive. Okay, so the only one that's left is to connect our hot end, which will have to be fed up through. All this menagerie of wires, of course. You gotta kinda play with the right order till you get all the ones you, where you need them. Now what we'll need to do is we'll need to go ahead and again, take the original harness. Last two wires are the ones that are going to feed our hot end. And again, polarity doesn't matter for the hot end. There. Now we can loop this around, make our connection, and we'll tuck these all nice and tight like this. And there we go. Now we can take this all back apart, mount it on here, and we have our hot end assembled.
we've made all of our connections. Now we just need to put our wire cover on and the last two screws. And now once we hook up all the belts, we'll go ahead and tie these up nice and neat. And our hot end is now assembled and ready to rock and roll. All right, so that wraps up today's episode. Now remember when you get ready to start ordering the parts for your white knight, or you just need another roll of filament, check out the printed solid affiliate link in the description below. If you want to help support this channel and future projects, there is also an Amazon wish list and a PayPal me link in the description. And as always, if you like what I'm doing here, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for updates. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.